Hi friends. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about social login. So you have gone through several websites and then they give you option to log in through Facebook or through Google, LinkedIn, several other social platforms. So what is it all about? Why we need it? What's the problem it is solving and how it works? I'm going to tell you everything in this video. So before we move forward, please subscribe to my channel and send the honest feedback about this video and what you want to see. So without wasting any time, let's get started. I'm going to give a quick demo on this and then I'll explain you further. So uh, you end up on any website and then uh, uh, it gives you a big sign up form, right? And then you have to fill in your email and then uh, first name, last name, you have to set a password, then you have to verify your email. Uh, you have to spend a lot of time, especially if that happens in any cell phone. It takes a lot of time, you know, typing and all that. Sometimes the verification mail doesn't go through. So what happens that the website loses its customer because creating the account or sign filling up the signing up form and uh, verification is a cumbersome process. So to solve this entire effort, which user puts in, and there is a design philosophy of less clicks. The less number of clicks, the better and smooth experience it happens basically whenever it's possible, it, it becomes friction free. So we are talking about friction free login. As a product, what do you need to identify a user? Mainly any unique identity like his email ID. Is so, so let's take a quick demo. Imagine this is your web portal and then you have been given this screen instead of creating a sign up form. So I pick to sign in through Google. So what it would do as soon as I click on Google, it would redirect to the Google site and it would ask me to log in. So long as I have an active session uh, with the Google, it would share my email ID to the app uh, which I want to use, uh, right where I want to create the account. So I pick this account. Once I come here, then uh, I have logged in with the Google. So this is where you see I am in here right so i did not did uh, create any like filled in any information internally one system got the information from another idp which is called as the identity provider which are social login platforms and things works let me give you another example so if i choose to log in with twitter so long as i have a valid account with twitter this is called as oauth flow so they will uh, forward it to Twitter and then they have some auth code which is coming from your caller app like let's say this is my application. So then Twitter tells you that hey do you trust this app? Is it the user, real user who is initiating this and would like to authorize the app? And I say yes I would like to do that. So Twitter uh, behind the scene uh, shares all my user token, identity token, and uh, the information, uh, the email ID, display name, everything you see here on screen, using a back channel to the product website, and product website uses that to create a user profile or a user account on their end. I'll also show with this diagram. So similar way, all these things works. We could always try Insta. Now I am here at Insta, but I am not logged in. So this would show, tell you that if you are trying to create an account where you don't have the account, either you create the account on Instagram or if you have the account, you log in. But if you are already logged in and you have an active session, the way we have it for Twitter, it doesn't prompt you anything. That's the thing about social login. Now Instagram also uh, provides you the alternative way to log in, which is using Facebook. So I am for now just picking to go with Instagram. And once I log in here as a IDP, Instagram would tell me, hey, do you want to uh, allow that app basically? And if I say yes, I would like to allow and then it should like work the same way, right? So now you come here and Instagram would share the other information. So similar way, these are some gaming websites. This is Twitter. You can do same thing with the LinkedIn and all other websites.
So in the diagram, let's try to conclude and understand what is social login. So I am trying to do a social login. This follows OAuth standard 2.0flow, which also has the open ID connect. What does this mean? This means that if I have a website, let's say this is called as Shutterfly and you want user to order some pictures to be printed and things like that. So instead of user creating the account, signing up account and then signing in after the verification, you reduce this sign up process and then you give him option of try to do social login using Facebook, Google, LinkedIn and there are several accounts. So what happens that in the back channel Shutterfly first forwards you in the UI of Facebook, you are logged into the Facebook, you are given the screen wherein you allow or deny to trust the Shutterfly app. If you say it's allowed, then this Facebook in the back channel provides the access token. Uh, please excuse my handwriting and the ID token to Shutterfly. Now from this ID token and access token, Shutterfly is able to get the email ID and other information which it needs and that way it creates your account over here. So without doing the sign up, without providing any information to Shutterfly, you just connect through any of these social websites and then you get basically the uh, account created and it solves a lot of problem like you don't have to remember the passwords you don't have to basically keep rotating your password so it makes things really easy for the user that's how the login flow works so thanks for watching and uh, please uh, leave your comment and hit a like talk to you later